Hey everyone, how y'all doing? My name is Mateo and I'm from Machine Masters. Today, I want to talk about what symbolic links are and how you can use them to transfer over virtual instruments and other libraries from your startup disk to other drives without having to manually reroute all your plugins. So the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I recently had an issue where I ran out of space on my startup disk. I'm running an SSD. It's only 128 gigs. I've had it for a few years and now I've gotten to the point where I've run out of space. Now, for the most part, it's easy to reroute sample libraries and virtual instruments, but some plugins don't let you or they won't let you reroute them until they realize that they're missing the files and then they'll ask you to reconnect them. Now, that's fine if you only have to do that for a few plugins and instruments, but if you want to do this for a bunch of instruments at once, this will be a pain to go through every plugin and individually reroute it. So this is where the symbolic link comes in. It creates a link and it makes the software think that it's connecting to the original file when in reality, it's just connecting to a shortcut. Now, some of you might be wondering, why is this any different from an alias or why are you not using an alias? Well, the main difference between a symbolic link and an alias is that an alias is using naming conventions that operates through the Mac operating system whereas symbolic links actually work at the root level in Unix. So symbolic links tend to be more reliable with applications trying to relink to library files. I find that in many cases, the aliases just don't work. The plugins just don't recognize the alias as the original file. So let's move on forward and I'm gonna show you how to do this. But one thing, and I need to state this as clearly as possible, Please, for the love of all that is good and holy in the world, make sure you back up your drive before doing this because we are going to work in terminal and if you mess anything up, it is very bad news. So again, back up your drive right now before you do this. Please and thank you. So I'm going to reroute the library files for the Air Bundle and I have four plugins right here that are all from Air and they're in the same folder. So that's why I have them up here. So I'm going to quit Pro Tools because we don't want these plugins active. Pro Tools installed the Air folder in my Applications folder. So first thing we're going to do is open up another window for where you want to copy this over. So since Pro Tools and the plugins are going to be looking for this folder in the Applications folder, this is where we're going to have to create the shortcut to appear. But first, we're going to transfer this over. So I'm going to move this over to another drive. And we're going to wait for it to transfer. Amazing. So I've successfully transferred over to my samples drive. And we see it right here. That's great. So now we're going to delete the original folder in its original location. And now we're going to create a symbolic link in the folder that the Air Music Technology folder is supposed to be in. So we're going to open up Terminal, and to do that, you go to the Spotlight, type in Terminal. There it is. And this is what Terminal looks like. So you're going to type in uh, a command, and the command is LN, and then space, and then dash, S, and then another space. Then what you're going to do is you're going to type in the location of the original folder, and then you're going to type in the location of where you want the shortcut to end up. Instead of typing everything out, because in some cases the path might be really lengthy, you can actually just grab the folder and drag it into the terminal. So I'm going to drag the Air Music Technology folder into terminal. And now I'm going to drag the applications folder into terminal right after it because that's where I want the shortcut to end up. And now I hit enter. And now I'm going to look in my applications folder and I should see it up here. Where is it? Ah, here we are. Air music technology. And you'll see a little arrow in the corner. So it looks like an alias, but the naming convention that it uses for the path is very different. It will make Pro Tools think that that's the original folder.
One of the drawbacks to using a symbolic link, and this is where an alias is better, is that if you move this original folder anywhere else, this link is now going to be broken. Whereas with an alias, the alias will try to reconnect with the original folder. So if you ever decide to move the library over again, you're going to have to create a new symbolic link. You'll have to delete that shortcut and create a new one. So that's the only kind of downside to the symbolic link, whereas the alias is better in that respect. But the alias won't work in this situation, which is why you have to create the symbolic links every time you move the folder over or the files. So for the final test, let's open up Pro Tools and check to see if the plugins work. Well, would you look at that? All the plugins are still active. So let's just check it out. Amazing. So all the plugins work and I managed to save myself. Let's see. How big is this folder? I managed to save myself three and a half gigs of storage space, which may not seem like a big deal. But if you're low on storage space, this can be quite helpful, especially when you start moving over big libraries. The other thing is you should probably have all your virtual instruments and libraries on a separate drive from your startup anyways, because this will actually split up the processing and allow you to have more stable sessions. It's a good practice regardless. Hopefully some of you will find this useful. I'm sure many of you that are on laptops will probably find this useful as this will save you a lot of space. So enjoy. Thanks again to all of you that checked out this tutorial. We really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about what we covered in this tutorial, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Also, if you have any suggestions for future tutorials, also leave that in the comment section below. As always, please like and share this video and subscribe to Machine Masters to keep up with all our latest tutorials. Thank you everyone. Have a great day.